right guys, it is lunchtime here in Lviv and we tried to find the most traditional Ukrainian restaurant that we could and that's how we ended up <laughs> at Seven Piggies and yeah, I can tell you taxidermy is really popular lots of stuffed animals, there's like beavers and squirrels and owls um, it's very colorful, it's all white walls but it's like decorated with these bright flowers so yeah, it's super cool. We're the only ones here and our food has arrived. Okay. A bonus. Okay. So Sam neglected to tell me the waitress is standing <laughs> next to me while I'm rambling on camera. That was awesome. Look anyway, at you carrying on like a pro. She brought us something called banos. And I believe this is some kind of sheep's cheese with like, looks like bacon. So I'm just going to try it on bread. I'm not entirely sure. How you're yeah, supposed we got a bread, to eat this, we got a bread basket, so. but you know, bread and cheese seems like a pretty good idea. So let's go for it. Oh, and isn't it egg? It's yeah, like egg, egg, it's egg sheep's egg. cheese, and this looks like some kind of bacon. Mm. Tasty. That's quite nice. It's the first time to try it. I feel like I could eat this on its own. I don't even yeah. need the bread. Try a bite on its own. Mmm. Good stuff. That's good. First time having this. Sam with the fancy water wheel right behind him. Right behind me. All right. All right. Time to try this. Banosh. Got a nice big bite. And it's kind of like divided into layers. Like over here you have the cheese and then you have the egg and then the, the, the sprinkled bacon bit. So I tried yeah. to get a bit of everything on here. It kind of looks like a like a fluffy omelet. Yeah. Just bite. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that good? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I can that's have better it than an, that's better than an omelet. Yeah. And I like how crunchy the bacon is. Mm -hmm. It's really like, that's the first thing I tasted. And then, oh, the cheese is really nice. It's a salty cheese. Yeah. And with the egg, yeah, it's kind of, reminds me a bit like a premium omelet or something. Mm -hmm. All right, and we also ordered wine and we got a bread basket. And yeah, usually I found when you order bread baskets here in Ukraine, you get both brown and white bread, which is yeah. cool. But you know what mistake we made? What? We pointed at the, the cheaper price for the wine, and it turns out it's only 50 ml of wine. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> Look at that. it's really small. I haven't even touched it yet. We, we need like half a liter between us. Come yeah, on. yeah. This is a taste. Well, we do. In all fairness, we do have to do a lot of filming today, yeah. so probably it's shouldn't have, have it too off much. With wine. <laughs> Anyways, we yeah we got a Cabernet. It's made from the Ukraine, and most of the wine from the Ukraine apparently comes from Odessa. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this might be from Odessa. Yeah. Also, the really popular wines that you can order at restaurants in Ukraine include Georgian and Moldovian wine. Yeah. So we decided to go for something super local, made in the country. It smells good. Mm. It's pretty good. That's a decent. Yeah. That's a decent dry red. Yeah. 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 Kind of has a cherry taste to it. <laughs> Look at him getting. <laughs> let's try the brown bread. No butter, so I'm just gonna take a bite. You should use a bano. It's pretty good with mm. bread. Yeah, I think doing. I'll do that. Yeah. That's nice. It's just nice having it as an accompanying side dish. Mm -hmm. A work of art right here. I believe we've ordered something called Kremsliki. And. I need to. You gotta open break it. this, baby. I can't actually lift the bread off, so we're gonna have to break it. Or hoe your way in, huh? Ugh. Break it in. How do they do this? Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm G, I'm G, I'm G. You can do it. It's like they cooked the bread over oh, this what? ceramic bowl. Oh my gosh, it t the camera just totally fogged up. Okay, so now <laughs> that we've managed to break all the bread off, yeah. and we should show you what's inside the defogging of the lens. Defogging of the lens. So in here, we've got some pork. We have potato pancakes. We have this like creamy sauce with dill and carrots and garlic. And it all looks really, really good. Let's go in for some pancake. I've really been enjoying these like fried pancakes with yeah. like, you know, savory mushroom sauces on top. It's been so good. Yeah, we haven't shown them before in videos, but we've been eating them a lot. It's just mm, kind of on our own time. Is it too hot? So, so hot. Yeah, I mean, it's piping hot. <laughs> it fogged up the lens, so. It's good though. But it's so creamy. So creamy. So creamy and yummy. This is one of my favorites. Sam's going in. Yeah, my turn to try it. He's fishing something Just out. Breaking off the potato sauce. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so hot. Potato pancake. <laughs> I can feel the heat. Feel that heat. There we go. I'm gonna try mine with a little bit of bread. First, I want to blow on it. Mm. <laughs> 
good stuff. That is one of my favorite things to eat here in the Ukraine for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I've now had it about three or four times, and mm -hmm. it's a dish now that whenever we go out and order like traditional Ukrainian food, it's a staple. We, it's have a staple. Get, we have to get that one. <laughs> it's just so nice. It's that sauce that makes it. So moving on to the main, yeah. the meat dish. What the did meat you dish. get? Well, this this meal is kind of the classic case of us of our eyes being a little bit bigger than our stomachs because yeah. oh this thing gosh. is huge. This apparently is the house specialty. They uh -huh. actually have named this dish after the restaurant. It is the seven pigs, and it is a huge pork leg. It appears like they have like a cheese or some melted cheese. Melted all over. cheese sauce, and I'm just gonna like carve Ooh, off a huge. That looks good. Like, look how big that is. Oh man, the meat looks so tender. It does. It looks really tender. So I'm gonna get some sauce on that. Take a huge bite. Oh my gosh, that is such nice meat. So tender. And actually, it's not a cheese sauce. It's a mustard sauce. Oh. It's got a kick to it, yeah. Oh, to wow. Totally different than what I thought. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna grab what, some uh, meat. I also wanna get a bit of the skin. Yeah, sure, try to get some of the skin, because that's and really some nice. some of the sauce. And make sure you get some of that mustard sauce. That A little bit of everything in one yeah. bite. Oh my gosh, I know this looks messy, but it actually it looks it reminds, quite appetizing. It reminds me of roast chicken where you keep the skin on it. But of course this is pork. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah. My God. The meat's quite tender, like it reminds me of pulled pork a little bit. Yeah, it has that kind of texture. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the mustard, I mean, it's got some kick, but also a bit of sweetness to it as well. So mm -hmm. it really balances out. It balances it well, huh? And this is good. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. My gosh, and we still we still have another dish and a dessert another to come. Dish. Like, and we're we're kind of getting out of the whole stage. <laughs> oh boy. So another side dish we ordered is vareniki, which are the dumplings. These ones are black. Yeah. We've, so we haven't had this before. It looked interesting. Yeah, we've never tried the black dumplings. So. All we know is that they're stuffed with pork and veal. There you have it. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. Nice. That is quite good. But we have no idea why they're black. How did they make them black? The only black food I've had before ink squid. used squid. Squid ink. <laughs> squid ink. I call it ink squid. <laughs> squid ink. Wow. Well, I don't know if they would put squid ink. Yeah, good question. In what a is pork it? and veal dish. Well, yeah. Super Help us solve this mystery, guys, if One you know. If you know. Sam, doing it for black dumplings. Oops. Ooh, they're quite dense. Yeah, they're heavy. The they meat heavy. is heavy. Mmm. Oh wow. Those are really different than the ones we've tried before. Yeah. We've mostly had like potato and cheese ones. Mm -hmm. Where this is like just entirely meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are denser for sure. Yeah. You know what? These ones almost look like they've been steamed instead of boiled. Yeah, I think they may have. Yeah. One more. They're really good. They remind me a little bit of dim sum. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. Tasty though. All we need is some soy sauce and a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> Bring it the sour cream. There you go. Well, thankfully, dessert is a smaller portion than everything yeah. else because yeah. we're stuffed. We're stuffed. And this is like, I think, a Ukrainian style kind of cheesecake. Mm -hmm. And it's got like a chocolate topping. And wow. I think I've been able to see what might potentially be dried pieces of fruit in the middle. I think on the other side. Yeah, I think I actually have one in my bite. There you go. Raisins. Raisins. Mm. Cheesecake with raisins. Mm. That's so good. Because like this is just like pure cheesecake. There isn't really like um, a bottom layer. It's just pure dense thick cheesecake. Just the way I like it. <laughs> so I kind of feel at this point the meal's sort of turning into a challenge. Oh my <laughs> a challenge meal. We're so full. But this is like an endurance sport. I always have room for cheesecake though. You we really need to start ordering less. That's the problem. <laughs> Isn't that good? Mm. Dense, huh? Is there a bit of alcohol in there? It could be. It could be. I wonder if those raisins have been soaked in... Rum-soaked raisins. Vodka or something. <laughs> taste a little something-something. Good stuff. 